It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. Rob, you got anything else before we BS? All right. Multiple GMBs. So we are in Salisbury, Maryland, and this will kind of be a two-part question. Everything has been out of our house, so I understand the whole purpose of the name, address, phone number stuff. Where we're moving is a little bit more centrally located, or we've already moved, we moved last week. Um, as we get into light season, I was told basically wait till January, February, where if something went wrong with this move or updating it, and all of a sudden I lost all my reviews, um, you know, it, it wouldn't be the end of the world in January. If I lost all my reviews right now, I'd, I'd drink a couple 30 packs. Um, <laughs> But as far as moving the GMB and then as far as setting up additional GMBs for like, I'd like to open up a Delaware, at least have another Delaware location from a GMB perspective for SEO purposes, even if it's a separate website, all that stuff, because it's such a hot market compared to where we are. Mm -hmm. um, the If the place where you're going is the hot market, you want to carry over your old profile into the new location. Don't mm -hmm. don't create two locations. Um, okay. I have it's always got sorted out, but I have seen temporary confusion where they they move and change mm -hmm. a little bit and have two, and then the new location kind of beats the old, and all the reviews go away temporarily. And mm -hmm. to solve it, you have to like navigate this maze of like fourteen dollar an hour flowchart followers, and it's. It just depends on which one you get, whether your problem's gonna get solved that day. And then you gotta re-verify and a postcard's gonna come and you tried it three times and now it's three yeah. weeks later and your all your reviews are still gone and that new profile isn't showing up for shit. Um, so in that case, the way you've described it to me, you move the good location, the one with the great history of query fulfillment and reviews mm -hmm. and branded search and all that, you move that one to the good market and then after that is like, you know, verified, confirmed, you look for you, your business name and it, it shows up and it knows that you're in Goodville and uh, Shittyville is, is kind of no more and moved. Then it's actually reasonable and we've done it on behalf of clients to re open up a new location and it's, uh, you know, Acme Services dash Shittyville and begin anew and you're, can very quickly be uh, the, the baddest boss in Chittyville. Gotcha. So let me let me ask a follow-up question on that quick, if I can, which is when you buy another business, how do you navigate those multiple GMBs? Is this a specific question about window cleaner? You need no, to, not at you all. Need to, you need to email <laughs> Nick at iNet Web. We've never bought a business in our lives. I have no idea. I just thought of the question randomly. There's a bunch of judgment calls involved in that. And um, one of them is branded search and historical customers looking for that brand. And, yeah. you know, if you have two services that are very, very distinct, kind of operating out of the same building, whether or not you break those into two business listings is a thing. And all kind of boils down to yeah, it. Wait, so like, um, just really tangentially quick, we have Blue Sky Services, our admin company, that's technically headquartered at the same place as Blue Sky's Window Washing, our Minneapolis window cleaning company. Can I have a, a GMB listing for Blue Sky Services, our bookkeeping company, at that same address? Yes, and you just won next week's drawing uh, when you ask all your loyal vodcast listeners to review Blue Sky's bookkeeping and describe the amazing bookkeeping advice you get, mostly sober, every Wednesday night. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Do that. Do that immediately. I dig it.